<laughs> okay, Lisa, what, what were you saying about fashion? Um, well, my, our, our first experience with uh, police brutality, racism, uh, when I found my son after 20 plus years, I moved into uh, Tucson, Arizona with me. And he was out there with me for a year. And uh, we were doing great. You know, we were doing wonderful, you know. And uh, my son, type of uh, young man that he loves humanity he loves those that love him he loves mother earth and he has a lot to offer you know to humanity and to mother earth to give back and he didn't deserve to be victimized but he was victimized out there in Tucson Arizona we were coming from the mall after we had been uh, coming we had came we had just bought a uh, our phones. We had when the Blackberries first came out. We were at the Radio Shack and we bought a phone, and we were following around the whole store just because we had uh, uh, Black Panther. Oh, you know, I see. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's legal to have weapons. So yeah. You have them out in the open. It's legal to have weapons in Arizona. So, so, and you had said you had dressed in that manner. In the, in the Was more of a statement of a, a statement. A statement, yeah. Because um, we know. That racism exists still exists in America. Right. Whether you wear the clothes, oh yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? So um, we got followed out of the store, and then we got followed by a police officer. Out of the oh, whoa. you know, yeah. Like basically saying, you know, you in, hurry up and get out of the mall, you know, <laughs> like that. And I spent money there, you know, yeah. all the time, you know. Right. I always spent money in that mall before it never happened until I brought my son out there. You know um, that thing they put on called uh, Race Talks? Uh, Dan right. Handelman right. spoke right. at it and Joanne Hardesty. Right. The, um, and then um, well, who's your friend you mentioned today that you're going to be meeting up with that I was like, oh, I know, I love Casey. that guy. Casey uh, Jama. Yeah, so Casey Jama had this most interesting thing where he started to explain that for people who are not as profiled or not in a profile demographic, they don't realize, they don't think and process the way a profile demographic is going to think about all the sort of like fear of like, well, should I wear this jacket? Am I going to be profiled? Like, and he described this very real incident where he's just driving home from the beach or something. And because he knows he looks African or Middle Eastern or Islamic in he's going to be be targeted so when when the officer pulls him over attempting to fake this whole traffic thing um he basically knew to keep both hands on the steering wheel because so many people are being killed because of oh i was just grabbing my energy bar and therefore you know that got mistaken for a gun so so just that that critical thinking that he used to survive in a culture of racial profiling to me it was really amazing and he was trying to break through with like do you realize what we go through just getting out the door to like think is this going to happen to me again am i going to be harassed again oh, it was amazing what he had to say I watched the video on YouTube. Uh, yeah. I couldn't make it the day I was in the world. Yeah. Yeah. There'll be other times. Yeah, we need a lot more of that. When they had, I call it martial law. Remember when they had martial law, martial law down here in 2010 after Aaron Campbell was killed? Uh, and then all the anarchists did the black, the black, the black block thing. Wait, was that in March that or? In. It was in. February. It's right before I got here. Interesting. So I missed that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Alex okay. Down there, we was following him with the camera, me and my son. We had the yeah, interesting. And um, I even got an interview as one of the students at PSU. And she said, yeah, uh, uh, one of her friends got murdered. And then she was never found again. Mm. And I got the interview. And mm. the way my son, the way my son, uh, Videotaped it. Mm -hmm. It was like a movie. Yeah. You know, you can go yeah. And you can watch Felix DeBuzz. Yeah. DeBuzz. Yeah. And he's been so loyal and dedicated. Well, I met him. That, that's how I know your family is mm -hmm. through. Of, of he was he was him. filming, and it was the racial profiling police brutality I protest. Was she was hanging. Yes. Yeah. And I was yes. just like, he was stunning because he was kind of like a one man show because he's got. 
he's got a lot more, he stands out, like he's got his own thing where, where he doesn't blend with the crowd. He's a natural revolutionary. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. We have so many videos of that. Yeah. Where we were telling the, uh, we were just filmmakers. We yeah. Film documents. Yeah. You know, and uh, we told the, the, I guess the people that were doing, you know, black, black mm -hmm. crime. Yeah. We were telling them to uh, go the other way because the cops were coming after them. Uh, shoot rounds in them, the, oh, the rubber bullets in oh. them, and so we had walked away from them across the street to get the footage of the anarchists doing their thing. Boy, you know, and then next thing I know, there was like ten lined up, uh, look like martial law. They had the full martial law thing. Uh -huh. They came up behind us and pushed us off the street for no reason. They just came up behind us and we got them. I got that on camera too. They put their hands on us. Wow. We didn't do any, we were just filming. Right. Just, right. You know. Right. Just film documents. And the Aaron Campbell was killed right 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 before that protest or how uh, did that go? Before that, yes. Yeah. This pronounced pattern. You know, the riots in Sweden were resulting from a, a wrongful custody death where some guy I was killed by police. And then, boom, the whole city's on, on fire. Right. And the, the London riots are placed with that. And I think there's something that, like, is there a way to get through to the cops in terms of the, I don't, I mean, I don't personally like the violent strategies. I don't want to destroy somebody's car or anything like that. But I feel like sometimes that level of rage and suffering to me is, it's like, isn't that, isn't that enough? Isn't that enough to diagnose like, oh, hey, we've got a problem. Let's solve it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Well, like you said, destroying property, you know, I mean, I guess that was their way of Speaking out to the police that y'all yeah. you know, come in our communities and just kill people. Yeah. What is it? So what we destroy property? Yeah. And the economic inequality yeah. is yeah. Y'all destroy families. Yeah. Y'all destroy, family. destroy lives. Y'all murder people. Right. Yeah. What's a car compared to a human? Exactly. Yeah. Them, you know, what's throwing a trash can out in the middle of the street? So I think mm. that's what they were trying to to say. You know, just a few years back, the feminist Gudrun Schumann burned 10,000 Swedish kroner to protest the wage gap where women are constantly paid less than men. And everybody got on her case, like, how dare you burn money? You could have given that to the homeless. It's like they, they're missing the whole thing. And I'm like, okay, who would suspect that that revolutionary act three or four years later, you've got, boom, the whole city's on fire and nobody's prepared. They weren't prepared in Norway for the neo-Nazi, and the U.S. government had warned Norway, hello, pay attention to your neo-Nazi threat. And they're like, oh, we're tolerant. Oh, we're not like that. Or, we'll, oh, that's, yeah, like, they're very making excuses for that. Yeah, just nonsense. <laughs> Faith, hope, and love. <laughs> Faith, so, hope, and love. Um, uh, someone's uh, personal uh, uh, things that I like, to, we like to, uh, talk about just let it all out when it hurts and uh, when it's upsetting when it, it's out there and it just needs to be noticed mm. <laughs> well thank you so much Lisa you're welcome Mary you're amazing